What up everyone? We're out at uh, Grandover Estates today. Got a wedding. We're loading in all of the gear. Big one today. And we got a lot of stuff outside too. So Grandover is one of those big resorts that has like a whole underground world where basically you can make it from one end to another and there's service elevators that go up every floor and it's it's a maze. Last time I was here we got lost heavy. So I'm trying to take some mental notes right now. So uh, we, we loaded everything up the freight elevator to the main room and on the way out we passed the uh, florist who just got here. Uh, they brought two vans full of flowers and decor. It's This wedding is a very, very, very nice wedding today. I mean that's why we're here at 10 a.m setting up everything and right now we're walking up the back way to get to the lawn where oh yeah it's right here where we're going to be doing the ceremony so yeah if we back up to here we'll be good so this is where we need to go let's update you guys on what's going on we're uh we've been here for an hour hour 40 almost two hours we still haven't set up the reception upstairs that's just how long it takes to load into this facility that's why we charge accordingly <laughs> this place is not for the easy load in ever out back we have all four of the ceremony speakers set up we'll take you guys back out there in a second we're gonna go sound check that real quick just make sure all the speakers are equalized properly and yes you did hear me we are doing four speakers at the ceremony for a true stereo sound system check out this place grand over resort love this place if you guys uh are following of the channel you might have seen i was out here helping my buddy dan back in like 2018 2019 of a wedding this place you need a lot of help so I've got Trey. Well, I'm gonna be back out here in November for a wedding with probably twice the production of this. And uh, we're definitely gonna bring uh, two guys to that one. Get this done a lot quicker. But anyways, catch you guys inside. All right guys, so here is the ceremony setup. We are back tucked behind where the ceremony is happening. This is kind of my alleyway to talk to the coordinator so that we can communicate when to send people down through here. Back here we got the ser standard ceremony rack, two audio Techno 3004 gens, Yamaha mixer, laptop playing music. That laptop will not actually be there, it'll be down there because when you put your laptop screen near your antennas, it causes interference. A little tip for you guys. Don't put your laptop screen near your antennas. This can cause interference. Don't do that. Put your laptop off to the side. Anyways, power and XLR is ran all the way around this perimeter, somewhere close to about 400 feet of XLR to four different speakers. So this is the ceremony area. And for all you guys looking to get into the high end game, this is what you guys need to be doing with your customers to make sure you provide the exact service and the exact value that they're looking for. In talking with this client, the mother in particular, her biggest thing was the ceremony. The ceremony is in it is the biggest thing ever for her and especially her daughter walking down the aisle this only happens once and her biggest thing was having a very good equalized sound around the room this client you got to imagine this client in their house they have sonos distributed audio in their house so they have speakers throughout their whole house so that everywhere in the house the music is playing evenly so they didn't want one speaker playing from one side being louder on this side than this side. It's not what they're looking for. Now that gets the job done for most ceremonies. But like I said, talk to your clients, customize your services and charge accordingly. The solution we came up with, we were originally gonna do two speakers, but they decided to go with four, to make sure that the whole entire space down here, as guests are coming from inside to outside, there's even distributed audio throughout, even sound, they can hear the mics wherever they're at. And that is just overall a very, very nice sounding system. And this is by far the best sounding ceremony system I've ever done. So let me show you what you got. So we have four speakers comprised of Turbo, Turbo Sound IP300s and LD Systems Maui 5 goes. So we have the Turbo Sound IP300s. I did not get rid of them. I still got them. We put them on stands. One on either side mirroring each other. And then up here on the front, we have the LD Systems Maui 5 goes. So we have one here and one there. I would have used four of the Maui 5 goes, but we are doing four weddings, or we're doing three weddings today and a homecoming. So I only had access to two of the Maui 5 goes. The other two have to go to the other two weddings that we're doing. This is one of the three. But yeah, we ran XLR cord for you guys that wanna know the cording. Up there is the rack. It comes down to this speaker, goes across to that speaker, goes all the way down around the back to that speaker, and then it goes to that speaker. And it it allows for very clean distributed audio throughout. I'm gonna play a quick little song sample for you guys and then we're gonna go rock upstairs to set up the upstairs. I'm not sure how well you can hear it, but it's even throughout. Even back here, I can hear those speakers. So there you guys go, behind the scenes of setting up a very, very custom ceremony setup for this wedding. Uh, we are now going to get working on everything else. And here's the ballroom setup. We got all of our gear right here to set up. So we got two totems, 
movers. They don't want a vinyl wrap dance floor. Got the turntable booth, the LED Maui 44s, audio rack in the back. They're gonna pipe and drape this all off. And uh, they're also doing totems over here to do on the uh, chandeliers and up lights. Oh, and cold sparks. So the theme of today's video is heavily um, day in the life of running a company and also doing a wedding in the same day. Mostly, you guys are seeing me do this wedding today. But right now, like I mentioned, we have three other events going on today. Two other weddings, Marcellus has a wedding. I think he's doing mo a monogram and ceremony audio. Ralph's got a wedding, just audio only. And then Drake's got a 800 person homecoming in Boone. He's driving two hours for that. When we get back to the house though, I will show you guys a little bit of what Drake's gonna be taking. He's taking the big subs, big speakers and all that, and up lights. But uh, where's Chipotle? Drake's loading up all the gear he's got for the uh, homecoming dance today. LED foam sticks, he's still gotta get some up lights out of there. SRX speakers, VRX speakers. Um, all you guys can shut up about uh, using the truck. We do have a tonneau cover, but beautiful out. There's no chance of rain, so he's good to go. Just gonna load it up with all the gear. And uh, that saves us the cost of a, a U-Haul. That's always a plus side. Running a company phone problems, but I am, uh, it's a black tie event, so I have a tie today. First time I've worn a tie in probably three years. But um, yeah, Trey's all dressed up. We're gonna head over to Grandover and rock out this wedding. Well, everyone, we're uh, out on the lawn right now. Check out those florals. Let me tell you guys, the florals today, on point. We're gonna get all everything turned on. We're about 15 minutes until prelude needs to start and uh, we'll be ready to rock. All right, well, we're rocking and rolling. We got the prelude music playing. People are showing up. Yeah, the videographers tapped in. We got both of the mics set up. Me and Trey looking fresh as always in our little back corridor here. People are getting set down and all four speakers are rocking. Take a peek at these florals real quick. husband and wife. You may seal the marriage with a kiss. Yay, everybody. That's a wrap. Ceremony. Done. Moving on. We are going, I'm going to go upstairs, make sure everything's all set on that while Trey breaks this down. Thankfully, we're not playing music for cocktail. They have a guitarist that's going to be playing the cocktail hour, um, but we will meet you upstairs. All right, guys, we're all set up. Just a little pointer for you guys. Um, if you guys are doing Cold Sparks, and you want to do them in nice venues, get yourself a Dyson. So you can sweep up all of the dust that the cold sparks produce, but um, florals are going into position. Tray's ready. Look at this setup. We changed all the lights to pink. Maui 44 G2s, cold sparks, setup, out of the way. So I forgot to press record on um, that GoPro right there for introductions, but it was pretty lit, it was pretty dope. And um, this, this setup's amazing, but Classic love songs for dinner. Yeah, let me show you guys some cinematics real quick.
ladies to the dance floor. Two, one.
There's the aftermath for you. We're breaking it all down, getting it all ready to roll out of here. You guys uh, need a like a Dyson vacuum, totally not for your house. But like if you if you want one, you could totally buy one to use to clean up the powder after uh, cold sparks. And you know when we're when you're not at events, you could also maybe like use it at your house. Ain't that right, Trey? Yes, sir. No, no, no. We use it for. Cold, cold sparks. Cold sparks. The, yeah, always use them for the cold sparks. Never at the house, Never but the house first. but first. you could use it at the house, and then it's a business asset. And yeah, we're cleaning up. Now we got a journey all the way down the back alley, all the way to the service area. It's gonna take like an hour to load out of here. Honestly, it takes forever. One more look at the florals. The florals. Last thing. All right. I really don't like using these things, honestly, but they're really convenient. Like, honestly. But loadout takes forever with these things. All right, so I know how much you guys love me talking, but I'm gonna talk this whole time. We just dropped off the first thing, and we got like two more trips between me and him to move Ooh. stuff all the way 
to the back loading dock. So we have to take the service elevator down and the service elevator is not too far from the ballroom but it still takes a decent amount of time. Maybe like five minutes to move everything over to where the service elevator is. Then you gotta take it all the way down this long hallway which if you noticed, I've still been talking because <laughs> we still even at, at the service elevator that takes us up to the second floor. We're in the basement. Hope you guys enjoyed this wedding. It was very fun. I had a good time. I had a great time. Um, a lot of complications, a lot of things I've never actually done before at a wedding in terms of the level that we did. But um, yeah, that whole walk, <laughs> we just now got here. It took a minute. But we still got to get all of this stuff, all this stuff, over to the loading dock. We have to go then walk all the way out to the parking lot to get the truck bring the truck around, get the stuff from outside, and the stuff, we got like, a, we need to get to work. We need to get to work. 